James Held at Eiffel TV in association with Max and Jim Barbell. We're in Minton's Club, Minton's Bar. We're here. It's officially, you look like a, a moody club. <laughs> <right? From laughs> the What's Listen, going on? welcome. I've got a few birds out the bank and a few pole dancing. I mean, you pay me the money, you've got, you got, you got the extras. Show you the money, mate. <laughs> but, um, no, we're here, obviously, Robin's, Robin's um, premiere. Allegedly. So, uh, yes, one of them, so some people would say. But um, yeah, it comes to support this, which is great. Um, but on to better things and bigger things. Queen's Boxing League, big promoter as I am. Um, we've got that on uh, 3rd of December coming out um, at the K2 uh, Arena in Crawley. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing for it. Got two pro fights on that Gareth Gardner and Tommy, um, Tommy Sweet. T Jacobs, I think they call him Sweet T. Yeah, Tommy Jacobs and Gareth Garner. But yeah, there's two great fights there um, on the card, and we've got a few title fights in the Queensbury League. It's going brilliant, man. It's going exactly really well. With the Queensbury now, you're starting to incorporate more sort of pro boxes into the shows as well. I've got, I've got a few pros. There's, there's quite a lot of pros coming through saying, look, they want to turn up and want a bit of Eurosport, bit of um, you know, bit of TV coverage, and to be on the shows because they are proper shows, you know. Listen. Fantastic platform you're a sport as well to get your show Big out. time, big time. And, and, and take away from, you know, like uh, the Eddie Hearn shows and some of the Warren shows and bits and pieces. The Queensby shows are, are up there, do you know what I mean? I'll get people come and they're like, wow, you know, this this is something else, you know? So I put a lot of time and effort and money into it and it, it's, it's showing and, you know, and I look after the fighters second to none. So that's good. It's well known that you match the fighters very correctly. You've got yeah. from novice fighters to intermediate to boys that are just sort of good enough or maybe just below pro level. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. to match them very carefully, is that part of the job? In oh, fact, big in time. the way you yeah, match the yeah. fights? Yeah, 100 percent You know, that's my my role is matchmaker. Do you know what I mean? I'll go around and I'll see these fighters in, in tri trials, sparring trials, and it is so important, you know, to get these fights. There's no listen. There's no journeyman in the league. There's no journeyman in Queensbury. So you've got two fighters, one in it, and one, in it, uh, uh, you know, to win and to step up and win titles. Novice, regional, national, British. That's that. That are four skill levels. You know, so they got something to move up to. And then we've got the pro side of things, which we then. Can, can step them up to, which is it's, it's fantastic. We're here today, as you mentioned, for Robin Deacon's documentary. It's interesting that all levels of, of boxers get, seem to get some attention at some point in their career. Robin Deacon, for, for all his sort of trials and tribulations and not getting a W, he, he seems to get more press than a lot of successful boxers. What, why do you think that is? Because he gets out there, he gets in people's faces, you know what I mean? He's there. But listen, he's a lovable character and, and you know, listen, he gets up people's noses and, and, and he's right right pain in the ass sometimes but he's his heart I've known him since he was a kid I got him into boxing we, you know took him down to the gym and, and and you know he trained with me and looked up to me um, as a kid and um, you know he is he's got such a great heart and, and hopefully I think that it will come across on the on this you know little premiere you know little thing that they're doing on him um, but you know you say I think there's a lot of boxers that don't get any coverage don't get looked at don't get money don't get don't get nothing do you know what I mean and, and um, which is a sad thing because we all train very hard and, and put in a lot. You know what I mean? and, and, but boxing's on a high at the moment. So this for Robin is fantastic for boxing. People talking about boxing at any level is great. You know, for the sport. So big up. You know what I mean? Hopefully, we we'll see Robin Dick can get a bit of luck even off of this. Because he's definitely someone that's due to be a big brother, isn't he? He's hundred <laughs> yeah. percent man. Yeah. Reality TV in some yeah, yeah. sort of level. Yeah, we. Well, Hopefully, it lives his profile on the bit. Listen, it'd be great. It, you know, he's been talking about it for years actually doing that. Um, but it will be great for him. And, and you see, he was talking to Pete earlier, Pete, like from Big Brother, one of the one of the characters from there. Um, that's it. And uh, you know. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know what I mean? He does deserve something, he's trying, he tries very hard, um, and what he made, makes up for, for not training so much in his fight career, he makes up for with his mouth and he's getting out there into people. So, you know, yeah, big up him, you know what I mean? Someone once told me, in, in the gym and training, he looks a million dollars, but once you get him under the lights, yeah, the yeah. pressure, he, he, he just doesn't perform. What, yeah. Why do you think that is, to be consistently good in training or, or decent in training to then not turn it on on tip the fight lines. I think there's a bit I think there's a big difference. Um, now now obviously I trained Robin with his first pro fight which he won. Uh, he was down with Johnny Eames. Well. Well, you know that you know I said listen I just take him to the gym every day. He need he needs someone to push him, be with him. 
and he was fit for that fight. He was under Johnny Hughes, like I say, uh, with Frank Warren, first fight, this and the other. And he'd, he'd done well, it was an hard fight, but he trained properly. Um, then he moved on, done his own little bits and pieces, and like you say, you can look good in training, but how hard are you pushing yourself? How hard, uh, you know, how much are you doing? And at, at the end of the day, as for any fighter looking, in, looking at this now, you know, you've got, mate, you've got to push yourself to, to the max. You've got to have someone there that's pushing you to the max. I used to, I used to, I, 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 used to um, I used to train like a lunatic. I used to overtrain massively. Um, Robin, like I say, uh, trained with him and, and done bits with him. And unfortunately, whether it was his, his you know, the, the leg situation, do you know what I mean? He's pulled his legs back to the front, you know. Um, mate, he's, 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 uh, he shouldn't be boxing, do you know what I mean? To an extent, he shouldn't have done what he'd done, but he, but he has. Um, but whether that, you know, he couldn't train as much as, as other people, do you know what I mean? But, or is it the mentality of, oh, I don't need to train, which some fighters have got, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm alright, I'm good enough. But that, I think that's probably what it is, where, you know, he's training, but is he taking it to the next level? Do you know what I mean? And, and, and could, couldn't run, do you know what I mean? Couldn't do any road work. Every fighter needs road work, do you know what I mean? To, to an extent, you know? Or you need to be really pushing the gym. So I think that's probably it. Yeah. Listen, I appreciate you giving a bit of time today, but I love what we're doing. No, I'm brilliant, Good mate. to see a few old faces, some of boxing well coming in and showing a bit of love for Yeah, no, it's brilliant, brilliant. But no, thank you, bud. Appreciate it, mate. Cheers, chat. Good luck.